Hello, my name is Kevin Gastola, and this is a message for all of you that are considering attending the U.S. Social Forum in Detroit. I'm very excited about this U.S. Social Forum and the fact that in a time when there are so many issues and so many trends that are really crippling a lot of people in this country, there's this ability for us to converge in one location and get together a massive amount of people somewhere in between 10,000 and 20,000 people. And that's exactly how many people are going to be there, and that's exactly how many people who should be there. I mean, we've got all of these things that are, are going on right now, uh, what with one, with one trillion dollars being spent on defense, uh, which is money that could be used to fund human needs instead. It's a common talking point, and you'll hear a lot of lefty type people say that. But for those of you who are skeptical, just look at the numbers and try to explain why we need to be putting that much money into security when there's another kind of security that we could be spending on. It's, it's the kind that would make sure that everybody had a home, everyone had health care, everyone had a job, everyone was able to live, and there would be a lot less poverty a lot less dramatic situations where people just are, are up against a wall and unable to really figure out what to do. But this is going to be really about movement building and empowerment. And that's what really gets me going. And the fact that in the devastated city of Detroit, we're all going to come together and form a support. We're going to form a support structure right here for a week. And we're going to take this city and we're going to really give back. We're going to do some amount of rebuilding of the city. Not a whole lot, you know, how much can you really do in a week? But well, we're going to do enough to begin to make a difference, to help mobilize people of Detroit and begin something. And we're all locally going to come together with our ideas about what it means to socially organize and to do movement building. We're going to have our discussions, and we're going to share with each other our expertise. And then we'll go back to where we're from, and we'll begin to do that work again. We're going to celebrate each other, the fact that people in this country really do need to stand up. And they really do need to be the change. Because if, if there's anything we've learned and anything we must know is that no matter what color the president is, no matter what ethnicity, no matter what race, no matter what background the president comes from, we are not going to get what we want in this country if we do not go get it as a people. Without struggle, there is no progress. If there is no progress, there probably isn't any struggle. You have to have struggle to win. And that is exactly what we need to do. And, and that the 14 tracks that we have that workshops are going to be going along, uh, the capitalism in crisis, the climate justice, democracy and governance, Detroit and the Rust Belt, displacement, endless war, indigenous sovereignty, international solidarity, media justice, communications and culture, organizing a labor movement, strategies for building power to the left, building a movement for social justice to the right, international, internationally and domestically, transformative justice, healing and organizing. These are all very phenomenally put together tracks for people to come and really tap into some of these key issues. And, you know, we've got the BP oil gusher in the Gulf. We've got this bizarre uh, way of actually socializing the big banks and giving them money or subsidizing oil companies. We're not putting enough money into wind and solar energy. We're choosing to continue offshore drilling. We're not doing enough to make it better for workers in this country. We've got the UAW Union, United Auto Workers Union, and they have not done enough for the workers in the restructuring of the GM plant. They have not been the union that they should be. And we are seeing all kinds of this going on with labor movements all over this country or the non existence of them. And we have seen that uh, with Israel, there's a need for solidarity with the Palestinians. And it, it's very heartening to see that in Oakland right now, 
not only have activists come together, but workers have stood in solidarity with the people of Palestine and chosen to block that Israel ship from landing and delivering whatever supplies might be on board. This is a huge victory, and we can say that if this was the 80s and we were showing our discontent with South Africa and its apartheid, we would be celebrating. And that's exactly the way we should be. We should be celebrating what is going on with the people who are on the West Coast right now who have decided to really stand up for the people in Gaza. And that's what this whole forum will be. No matter who you are, it'll be about people power. And your politics really don't matter because what it comes down to is that universal humanity that we all have. And I will be at this forum. And I will be trying to contact as many people as I can. And on my site, which is movingtrain.wordpress.com. I also post to opednews.com. And I also will be posting to opensalon.com. And as many of these other outlets as I can. But I don't want to get too carried away because I want to be able to enjoy the social forum. And, and still get around to everything and not take all this time posting in every location. I just want to let you know to look out because I'm going to be making sure that this is mentioned in the blogosphere, in the progressive blogosphere. I'm not going to let the progressives get away with doing what they did to the Winter Soldier event because the Winter Soldier's event was not covered. In March, a few years ago, when Iraq War veterans who oppose this war, were standing up and telling the truth of their experiences. The people, the bloggers that we should be counting on, did not give them the coverage that they should be given. And so I'm going to make sure that the activists that are coming to share their stories, the workers that are coming to share their stories, the average people, the regular people in this country that are coming to connect with each other, are having their stories told. And so you can look for me, and you can connect with me, if you want me to tell your story, please reach out to me, and I'd be willing to do an interview with you. So, I'm very excited about the fact that each day something new and amazing and unknown could happen. The fact that even though there's a schedule, I still don't really feel like I understand what this is all going to be about. And even after, it's going to take a while to really figure out what just happened with this convergence. And I think that's what the power of this event is. And a, a huge kudos to the organizers for putting this together. And uh, tomorrow I'll be getting on a, in a car and riding to Detroit. And, uh, you know, it's a ride share. And then I'm going to be couch surfing. And this whole way of, of making this all come together is very, very inspiring. And I'm excited. And I don't even care how tired I'm going to be at the end of this week. I just know that it, it's worth it. And we, we need more U.S. social forums. If this was something that we could do every three months, it would be worth it. Because that's what our country needs. We need massive people power. We need massive uh, rising up and, and taking on the structures that are bearing down upon us each and every day in ways that are not beneficial. So thank you. See you at the U.S. social forum.